these people understand what is going on. And, you know, there seems to be a few ty different types of people, some that take to it slowly, some that don't want to hear it, and some that will never uh, understand it until there's that boot that kicks down their door. Exactly. So, and, and, and Alex, right before showtime, if I could just slip this in, a uh, very important piece of information I got. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name, and I can verify this, and, and I've gotten the authority uh, approval to use his name. At the Bundy Ranch, a gentleman by the name of Jerry DeLimas is there. They, they and, and I'm not sure, we, we didn't catch the first part of your show. Uh, we were in transit to the studio, but the fact of the matter is, the uh, uh, information we have is that there is some sort of activity, perhaps as some sort of uh, service of legal process to be done against the uh, Clive, Clive and Bundy and his fa and or his family, members of his family. Jerry DeLimus wants, uh, who's at the ranch right now, uh, wants people to know that they will not put up, obstruct, in any way, shape, or form, or in any way, put up any force against any law enforcement officers who are right now or in the future intending to serve any lawful or legal legal uh, service of process or warrant or whatever. They will cooperate. There's a propaganda war going on here. Uh, the government is mm -hmm. saying, look, you know, uh, these, these patriots out there with guns, they're going to shoot you if you go. That's right. They're using the loaded sovereign citizen term. Uh, nothing against sovereign citizens, but it's a Southern Poverty Law Center term to say that they're going to kill any Fed they see. When it was the Feds pointing the guns, not them, they've said we will take the process. Are you getting at they could false flag the servers? Well, yeah, and that's exactly exactly uh, exactly what, what what's being set up here. This is as much of an info war, propaganda war, as anything else. That we are the Second Amendment constitutionalists. Uh, gun-toting, Bible-carrying people. We are being set up for the demonization. Look what you did. Look what you... Oh, no, I undoubtedly know that they can spin this against us if it goes sideways, and that's why Glenn Beck is now saying it has nothing to do with it. My deal is they're pointing guns, they're attacking people with dogs, they're out of control. How can you put down people with their guns, with them at their sides, marching towards the feds, you have to say these are honorable people. At the same time, I don't want this to go physical, and I'm on record saying that. Uh, but I think Reed and them have a big problem, too, because if they do try to stage something, it's not going to go the way they want. I mean, I think the globalists, do you think the globalists are ready for the Civil War to start? Is that what you're saying? Well, what I think is the globalists have all their pieces in place, and they've had them in place for a while, from what I can tell. And if they wanted to start something, if they wanted to actually start the Civil War, they could have they could have did it, uh, you know, five years ago. But they haven't. So the question is, why haven't they started to implement their their hardcore plans? If they can, there is still something that they're waiting for. Is there still something they need? What is it that is holding them up, or what is stopping them? Well, I think it's us. I think it's the fact that the alternative, real new media knows their game plan. And just like the Joint Chiefs of Staff chairman went to Obama the night before the attack on Syria, that's been confirmed and said the military will not stand for this. I think the military and police, in fact, I know the military, my gosh, it's like 90% now are awake that I talk to, uh, are, are totally are aware of everything. I mean, they live in this. They're not stupid. Uh, what's your take on that, uh, Doug? Well, well, look, I, 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 think, I think that the, uh, the penetration, the information um, penetration is getting out there. I think that that uh, we are we are making a difference, Alex. And, and, and thank you for do, uh, making a difference. I think it's so important. But the bottom line here, uh, you asked a question just earlier. What are they waiting for? Or you know, what, what what's what could happen next? Let me go back to that taking down of the dollar because once that happens, what will happen here? There's going to be chaos. There's going to be look what happened to Walmart. You pointed out, you and know, they uh, don't want to take the blame for the collapse. They'll start a civil war. Right as that happens, blaming the collapse in the Civil War. Exactly. It's, it wasn't us, you know, and, and that's the whole thing. Gee whiz, it just had to happen. Uh, it, it certainly wasn't us. We didn't want this, but that's what they're counting on. They're counting on people to believe. You know what this is like, Doug? This is like a car wreck. Have you ever been in a car wreck and right. things go into slow motion? It's like you can't believe a car just ran a red light and it's about to T-bone you. Yeah. And then it hits, and you're in slow motion, and you feel your you know, leg breaking or whatever, your head slamming into the windshield. I can't believe it's this crazy, and history's about to repeat. There's got to be a way to stop this. One thing we can do to mitigate and to help ourselves is to help each other. 
and, and to reach out to our neighbors, to our families. Oh, yeah. And even if they don't believe us or think you're crazy, however the relationship is, just say, look, you know, if things go bad, this is the way it is. Get extra food, extra preparations, be in a position to help people and bring them together so you can yeah. fight towards us. The and then meanwhile, Homeland Security is saying if you got food or guns, you're a terrorist. They're actually, we have that article on Infowars.com. They're literally going to come to our houses and start stuff with us because we're not in the food lines, forcing us into combat with their people. Exactly. And, and, you know, people listening to this right now might think, well, geez, we know all of this. Well, you know, in a lot of ways, yeah, but you need to reinforce it as well, because the more that we talk about this, the more that this information gets out, the more that we expose it. And we've talked to our sources. Uh, we've had meetings with our sources in Florida and in D.C. here in the, in the last uh, six months. Uh, the more that this gets out, the better chances we will have for survival. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, folks, this is life and death. This is so real. We're going to do this segment, the segment Overdrive, to take your calls straight ahead, folks. Stay there. I'm Alex Jones of Infowars.com. Spread the word now. Make hay while the sun shines. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Are we trying? Travel so much and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets, but fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motors and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. All right, we're back in this segment and the next, going right to your phone calls. This hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Great, high-quality, storable foods. My choice for myself and my family. Uh, they've got organic. It's all organic. Uh, they've also uh, got, as I said, great customer service. 866, put that up on screen, 229-0927. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Also, if you look at uh, DrudgeReport.com, there's a CBS News article out of Las Vegas. Reed says something will happen to stop Nevada rancher Clive Bundy. How, how cryptic, but most of the comments are calling Reed a traitor and pointing out that he indeed is in business with the communist Chinese to take over the whole, whole area. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and go to the phone calls for our guests, Doug and Joe Hagman. 
And let's talk to um, Kaylin in Florida. Go ahead. You're on the air. What's your take on this whole situation? Hey, Alex, Doug, and Joe, a uh, longtime listener, first-time caller. Uh, my name's Kaylin Perez. I ran for U.S. Congress in 2012 as a libertarian to try and restore the values that made America great, and those values are now all but gone. Um, your, your guest, I believe it was uh, Doug, mentioned demonization. Just look at what they're doing to the troops themselves. Um, if you look at, for example, the Free Cody Press campaign on Facebook and Twitter, I can give you a link to it at the end. My brother, Cody Frett, and thousands or maybe even tens of thousands of other veterans like him are currently being persecuted by the Army. Um, it's, it's been reported in the Army Times and elsewhere. Um, these guys served honorably in the front lines in Afghanistan, war at point-blank range. They came back, most of them, with PTSD and TBI. That's yeah, so they're being range. totally demonized. That's why we hired Sergeant Joe Biggs. He's now a reporter here full-time in Austin. He's a great reporter, has a lot of courage, and you know, is also a veteran. Uh, and, of course, helped expose the uh, murder of the uh, Rolling Stone uh, writer, his uh, good friend, uh, Mr. Hastings. But, but I hear you, and I appreciate your call. we got to move quick. Uh, what is your take on the open demonization of the veterans? I mean, that ought to show everybody that works for the system how much these globalist cowards hate the people that have actually helped build their empire. Well, research Joe has just done, just completed uh, this week. Look, uh, they're 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 uh, making the military. First of all, they're taking away a lot of the troops. We have to ask why. They're, I mean, they're cutting back on the troops. They're cutting, obviously, you report, but not on the wasteful jets and stuff. They're just getting rid of the troops, you know. Right. Well, the Pentagon announces they're going to robots, but go ahead. Well, well yeah, there's that transhumanist aspect to, to, to this that you've talked about as well. But, but it's interesting because now we are wussifying, I don't know what other word to use, the military with these uh, with, with the, the homosexual militant radical agenda uh, against the military or in, 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 with the military. So what is what has happened over the last, what, uh, 10 years? The, the things you found it were just absolutely astounded me with respect to what they're doing to our military in terms of uh, defanging our abilities, uh, at least our combat abilities. And not only with the Army and the Marines that are having suicides at all times highs, you have now special forces that's come out yeah. having suicides at all time highs. That's right. And the way that the what, over 50,000 veterans are homeless here in, in this country. It's incredible. The globalists are strip mining the country. They're using us like a toilet. Xander in Minnesota, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, I just wanted to <clears throat> relay a little African proverb to you in regards to Ukraine. Uh, the proverb goes that when two elephants fight, it's the grass that's trampled. And I think that's what's in store for the Ukraine U.S. That's Ukraine right. Part. More wars, more conflicts, not good. We want Ukrainian for the Ukrainians. Get out Russia, get out NATO. But NATO grabbed 90% of the country and acts like Russia started it. That's why it's a fraud. The, 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 the shadow of history casts a long, or the history casts a long shadow into the future. And, and I think we have to keep that in mind. I think we have to look back. No, I agree. That was a great point by the caller. Anything else, Sander? Um, yeah, well, your guest was talking about something to um, kind of help this situation. And uh, Thoreau said that it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. I think a lot of the brainwashed masses, um, they have seen the problem. I mean, they've looked at the problem, but they really don't see it for what it is. You know, they Well, tell us the problem. Don't, don't hang up. We're back in 60 seconds with our guest. Take a few more calls here for Joe and Melvin and Pam. We're going to have a final comment from you, Xander. Straight ahead. Stay with us. Today. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the 
a eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. Your